Hi, this is Lori Matisse, and I just wanted to share my Heart of God painting that I did in 2000. Um, it's got the all the souls of the world in the heart of God, which I made like an organ, and the nation of Israel piercing his heart, and of course Jerusalem in the center, and then Jesus coming back in the center uh, to the Mount of Olives. Um, out of the heart uh, is the blood pouring out and the water uh, to all the nations of the world. The, I, I wrote it in 27 uh, different languages, the 27 major languages of the earth. And um, I just wanted to share a little background that went into that. So I've uh, laid my life down for the Lord um, in years ago and in uh, about 1983 I said I will lay my life uh, for you in the gap of the nation for the youth of the nation and and I suffered a lot I've had a lot of uh, really uh, bad hearing issues and dizziness and and a lot of physical suffering and I'm, I'm in physical suffering daily and um, but because of that I stopped listening to everything else and in the 80s, I stopped listening to media, um, music. I couldn't stand to hear anything. And and in the those years of silence, which was about 20 years uh, of silence, I was able to hear the Lord and hear his heart and hear his heart for the nations. And in that time of suffering, my, my heart expanded. My heart grew like before I only cared about myself and then during the suffering my heart grew larger and larger and larger to whole nations and um, in Psalm 2 uh, verse 8 it says ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession and I just love that I I used to um, so I speak in tongues, and I also prophesy in tongues. Uh, there's two different kinds of tongues. One is your prayer language with God that you you communicate with Him on a daily basis, and the other one is a prophetic word in tongues that somebody actually hears in their own language, like Peter when he got up on the day of Shavuot, the day of Pentecost, um, and spoke in tongues, and they heard in all their different languages. So I'm going to do a whole talk on tongues, but uh, in another talk, um, I encourage you to seek the gift of tongues. It's amazing. It's such a way to expand your prayer life with the Lord. But so during these intense years of suffering, as God expanded my heart, um, I would make, you know, many hours of prayer, many, many hours of prayer and uh, in tongues. And, and there were times when I would pray and I would literally hear about 30 different dialects, 30 different major different languages coming through me as I was praying. I, I definitely could hear the distinction of the languages. And it was just so gorgeous. And it was just so amazing to share in the heart of God and his heart for the world who, who desires every person would be saved. And his heart broke on the cross it broke uh, with when they pierced him, the, the water and the blood came out and he died of a broken heart. His heart broke for us. He broke for every man, woman and child to come to him and to be able to have life, have his water pouring through us and his blood pouring through us. And so I just wanted to share this uh, painting with you. and. I explain a little bit about it. I had an art show a couple years ago where they wanted to show the painting, but we couldn't get it in the door. And so this is me outside the door uh, with the heart of God that wouldn't fit in the door, which of course, you know, his heart is so big, he can't fit in the door. So I um, just encourage anyone to call out to him, call in the name of Jesus and you will be saved. Okay, enjoy the little glib, the little film clip. Thanks. Bye. So this is the heart of God holding the map of the whole world. And
and we see the nation of Israel piercing his heart, and this is the eye of God on Jerusalem, and that's Jesus coming back in the clouds for a second coming, and this is the God so loved the world, he gave his only son, written in Hebrew. And then out of the heart, the piercing of his heart, his, because his heart was pierced, and out of it poured water and blood, so that's why I have the blue and the red. And then the John 316 is written in 27 languages in the bottom. So that's the 27 languages of for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That whosoever should believe in him will have everlasting life. And the heart of God is so big, we couldn't get it through the doors of the gallery. Because <laughs> his door is open to everyone.